Welcome back to the Pro Sports Podcasters on YouTube. My name is Colbert Garan. Most of you know me as Kobe. And today I want to take a look at what's next with UFC Strike. Now, we haven't done a UFC Strike video in a while, and that's because, let's be honest, very little has happened. All we've really had is the $500 net spend to get the Israel Adesanya fandom moment, and that's about it. Outside of that, we've all watched the marketplace slowly dip in value, except for a few specific moments that are kind of holding, and that's the Hamza Chemeyev, the Yuri Prohashka, and the Francis Ngannou. There was a bit of a hold sort of in value on McKinney, but that's only because some people were thinking he was actually going to win against Drew Dober. was never going to happen, but for whatever reason, people were high on him and thought that was going to happen, and it didn't, so you should see his values go down next. Probably what I should start doing is some additional videos based on the specific fighters that are already out and letting you know if I think they're actually going to win their next fight or not, because a lot of these fighters are not going to win. You can't just go ahead and buy big on any fighter who's got a fight coming up unless you know what you're actually betting on, and that's whether or not they're going to get a win, and more importantly, if they're going to get a finish. But let's look at what's next, and that's the release of Series 1. And that's a great thing, okay? I'm excited about this, because what it means to me is, is that there won't be no more Series 0. That's the most exciting thing about it when it comes right down to it, is that I now have a contender set of moments for Series 0, and there will be no more of those particular moments being added. And that's just awesome to me because I don't ever have to go back and try and finish off that set. I'm looking at, at it in comparison to, say, some of the other products on Dapper Labs, right? You've had NBA Top Shot. There was quite a long list of Series 1 releases before they went to Series 2. You've got NFL All Day. They've had their first slew of Series 1 releases in the beta, but I expect there to be a lot more coming out of Series 1 because the subsets are far from complete in Series 1. At least by their blog st uh, stats, they're not complete. So there should be more Series 1 releases, new packs coming out on that platform as well. But for UFC Strike, Series 0 is done. Now we're moving on to Series 1, and here's the first bad news we heard. And that's the contender moments are being reduced to 12,000 mints per, per moment. And that's like half of what the Series 0 were. So you've got the community in, in kind of an uproar about it because they were hoping that the future sets would have higher mint counts than the first set. But this is a learning process for Dapper Labs. And they basically overestimated how big the community and the market would be. So they started off with the 23,900 and change, thinking that would be a reasonable amount to mint for a contender's level moment, and it wasn't. And as a result, the market has dipped. But I'm okay with that, right? If Dapper's going to make adjustments, and they're the right adjustments, I'm all for it. Maybe it hurts the Series 0 value a little bit, but so be it. It wasn't like any of us had to go deep into our pockets to, to to basically collect a contender set on Series 0. You can go on the marketplace right now and probably get an entire contender set for, well, less than 300 bucks for sure. Less than $300, you can get an entire contender set at this particular moment. So you're not really hurting if, you know, it loses a little bit of value because the future mint counts are slightly lower. Whatever. No big deal to me. It's still Series 0. It's still the first one's minted. It's going to carry its value eventually. Maybe you got to sit on it for a while, but so be it. So what? It never cost you much in the first place, especially if you got in when I did, which is the very first drop, and you were refunded everything you spent in that initial drop. So what it cost me to get a contender set, it's so embarrassingly low, I don't even want to say it because it's it's almost too ridiculous to to go ahead and repeat. And on top of that, I had an issue with one of the drops that came out, the, the second drop when one was released. One of my packs, after opening, the moments just disappeared. And I'm sure some of you have heard about this, and I've mentioned it in a previous video. And to this date, they still haven't returned them. They are still in the process of trying to recover those three particular moments. But what Dapper Lads has gone and done is they actually refunded me the price of that pack. So I cannot complain with Dapper Labs. A lot of people complain about Dapper Labs. I myself have, 
have hit them on occasion when things have really screwed up. But in the end, they always try and find a way to make good with the community afterwards. But looking at Series 1 now, you've got a new level of moment that has been released. So you have the contender moments, which are being minted to 12,000, like I said. Then you've got challenger moments, which are being minted to 1,500. And you have champion moments, which this time are being minted to 99. Now, it's that challenger moment tier that intrigues me the most. And the reason being is because they've also said there's a good chance they're going to have both standard and premium packs for the first time on UFC Strike. And my guess is the reason they're doing that is because of this middle tier, because of these challenger moments. There'll be very few premium packs released in this first Series 1 drop. Very few. So little, in fact, that they're able to go ahead and guarantee you, say, a challenger moment with a slightly better chance of getting a champion moment than you would with a standard pack. Very similar to what's going on with NFL All Day. If you're familiar with the NFL All Day platform, you'll know that they have standard packs and premium packs. And generally speaking, the premium packs are premium because they include a guaranteed rare with the possibility of a legendary. Now, that's just the equivalent of a guaranteed challenger with the possibility of a champion. So I think that's the way they're going with Series 1, UFC Strike. It's been working for them on the NFL All Day platform. Although I very rarely buy premium packs there because the value, expected value to cost doesn't really match up for me. But in this case, we'll take a look at what actual fighters are available when they release the full list and decide if I'm going to go that route or not. What are they going to be doing with these moments that's going to give you additional sort of gamification on them, right? Some kind of additional value based on the particular moments that you have. And a lot of people are saying, well, it's hard to game, you know, to, to add utility to UFC Strike. I disagree. I fully disagree. There's a lot of ways of doing it. And they've actually gone out and asked the community to suggest a few ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and suggest three ideas right now. The first one, which is one I've mentioned before, maybe not on one of these videos, but possibly on a blog or one of our podcasts, is that you could very easily create a challenge group based on fighters' gyms, right? Their teams. You could say, you know, get five American top team fighters together, five Stanford MMA fighters together together five MMA lab fighters together. This is one of the things you can do, and it doesn't require those fighters to be in an event. Another thing you can do is just go by weight class, right? You got to build a a challenge group that's got nothing but lightweights in it, or nothing but middleweights, or nothing but heavyweights, etc., right? So that's another one you can do. And again, it does not require you to have any of those particular fighters in an actual UFC event. And then the third one is a little different. And the third one I like because it does involve UFC events. So if you've got a particular moment that has a fighter in it that is going to be in the next UFC, then what they can do is they can do almost a daily fantasy type um, challenge where you have a option of picking the, you know, picking the moment that you have, putting it in a challenge box, but the challenge box has given you options. And this is something I'm hoping they're going to do with NFL all day as well. And that's have challenges that are preemptive as opposed to reactive. So in this case, I would say you have a number of challenge boxes and they include win, by a certain round, by a certain method, or lose by a certain round, by a certain method. And you get to choose which one of those particular combinations you like and put your moment in that challenge box before the event happens. And if you predict it correctly, you then win some sort of a challenge reward. And that's something they can do easily, and it only requires one moment to do it. So that's just three ideas. Okay, Dapper Labs, that's three ideas you can go ahead with with UFC Strike. Let me know in the comments if there's any ideas you've got that you'd like to see them utilize for utility in UFC Strike. Till next time.